Hello, and welcome to the Triumphant Church of God Durham broadcast. We are so happy that you've taken the time to join us today, and we pray that you will be blessed by today's service. God is moving in a dynamic way, and we are so excited to hear what our pastor is going to share with us. So I will see you in the sanctuary. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Greetings everyone and welcome to the Triumphant Church of God in the region of Durham. We're so glad you decided to tune in today and to be a part of this broadcast. We're already in the second week of February 2022 and today we're focusing on heritage. We are focusing on knowing where you're coming from, knowing who you are and where you're going. And so today as you are listening and as you're watching and as you're engaging in the worship we thank god for everything that is happening in this service may your hearts be blessed and may you remember you are of a great heritage sent by god god bless you today as you worship with us
God bless you one and all once again as you are tuning in to this weekly broadcast. We at the Triumphant Church of God in the region of Durham, Canada are excited for what God is doing in this place and in this region. We're so thankful for the service that has been provided thus far, the praise and worship that came before, the words of encouragement, we give God thanks. Truly, the presence of the Lord is already in this place. And right where you are this morning, whether you're sitting in your front room or you are in your car, or you're watching this on a replay and not live, may God allow something to trigger on the inside of your heart that you will realize that God is in this place even right now, right where you are. And today we're getting ready to go into the Word of God and we want to remind you that everything we do at the Triumphant Church of God is to enhance your life, enhance what God wants for each and every one of us. And we want you to realize that we love you at the Triumphant Church of God in Durham and the Word of God is here to lift you up out of your current circumstance. We are focusing on heritage on this Sunday morning and we want to dive into the Word. But just before we dive into the Word, let us breathe a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for how good you are. We magnify your name. We thank you that you have given us something great. We are a part of a godly heritage. And we're so thankful at this hour that you saw it fit to engraft us into this family of God. Lord, bless this word as we share it together. May hearts and lives be changed, and we'll be careful to give you thanks and praise in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen and amen. God bless you this morning, and we just are so thrilled that you decided to tune in on, on this Sunday morning. God is so amazing. We're in the month of February, and oftentimes in the month of February worldwide, we celebrate it as Black History Month. Uh, understanding what is Black History Month and understanding how we take time to reflect on those who have gone before us, those who are here right now, and those who are to come that are making a difference in our communities. It is so wonderful to understand that we can take a moment out and say happy Black History Month. We can uh, take a, a, a few moments out and focus on the heritage that God has blessed us with. So today we're going to go into the Word of God and we're going to remind ourselves of the great things that God has done for us and where God has brought us from. So if you have your Bibles with you this morning uh, and you're excited about the Word of God, I want you to take your Bibles and you're going to turn to the wonderful book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, wonderful book of Isaiah. We're going to go to the 54th chapter and the 17th verse, Isaiah 54, verse 17. And it reads as follows, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. And here is our key this morning. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. And I'll read that again. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. May God bless the word of God to our hearts this morning. We are focusing on heritage. We are focusing on remembering our heritage. Where did we come from? Where have we been? Where are we now and where are we going? It is so important, saints of God, to realize we have to uh, take a moment out and reflect on where, we're, where we are coming from. Some of us can recall uh, our grandfathers, grandmothers, 
great-grandfathers, great-grandmothers. Some of us can even go back to uh, our great-great-grandmothers and fathers. But some of us can't. We've never ever experienced who they were. We've never experienced what they brought to the table that causes us to be who we are today. But let me remind us again, we are remembering our heritage on a day like today. Why? Why do you want to remember your heritage? You want to remember the things that were done before you and that caused you to be who you are today. You didn't just come to be who you are, but you were somewhere. Your generation came from somewhere and put you where you are today. And so this morning, it is so important for us to know where we're coming from. As we reflect on Black History Month, we remember many who have gone before us, uh, many who have left wonderful, wonderful heritages behind for us to not just claim as our own, as, a, as a, a people of color, but also to really encourage us to do even better than they did. So we look at the likes of Martin Luther King Jr. and what he brought to society and what he brought uh, towards uh, many people, not just one group of people, but the example that he set and, and the fights that he fought so that they would have freedoms that we have today. And we see the struggles, and yes, at the end of the day, he, his life was taken uh, unexpectedly, but what he left behind, the heritage that he left behind, not, it was not only for his children, it was not only for his grandchildren, and for those who were to come after, but it is for us as well. He sought peace. He won the Nobel Peace Prize. And he, 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 he was so engaged in helping others. Heritage. Wonderful heritage. We remember others uh, uh, in, this, in this time, in this season uh, of February. Uh, we remember the likes of Harriet Tugman. We remember the likes of Rosa Parks. She fought uh, for equality as well. And she moved in, in a way where it caused us to have a seat in the front of the bus and no longer only at the back of the bus. Uh, heritage. We're talking about heritage this morning. Uh, we look at the likes of Muhammad Ali. He made a difference. He, he, he stood up for what he believed and left a heritage for those who came after him. We look at the, for those of you who are, who are interested in sports, we look at someone like Jackie Robinson, uh, someone who broke the color barrier, who was able to push through and leave a heritage for those players who are playing now and have such freedom to do what they please to do. Huh, we remember our heritage. We remember the heritage that he left behind. Langston Hughes, there are the likes of uh, Maya Angelou. We, we know her as somebody who had some great writings and she left heritage and many cards have been produced in her uh, honor and her heritage lives on. And we look at the likes of George Washington Carver. What a wonderful heritage left behind. And finally, we look at someone who is not passed away, but is still in the land of the living. And in his eight years in the presidential office, Barack Obama left a legacy, left a heritage that will never be forgotten. We are remembering today our heritage. We are remembering the heritage that our forefathers left for us. But we are also, more importantly, remembering the great heritage that God has given to us. The Word of God says, this is the heritage. This is 
the heritage, remembering your heritage. This is the, 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 the things that God has given to us to remember. We don't just come here and we are just who we are. But the heritage that God has blessed us with. Look what the word of God says previous uh, in the same verse. It says that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. We look at the many that have lost their lives and we wonder they lost their lives trying to build a heritage for those of us who are here now. But look at it closer. The word of God is saying to us this morning, the heritage that God gave us, the heritage that we are living in today, it is a heritage that no man, no woman, boy or girl, no law, no, no, no obstruction of justice can prevent us from holding on to this heritage. Somebody needs to shout heritage today because this heritage that we have in Jesus Christ, nobody can stir it up and remove it from where it has been planted. It is our heritage today and he will protect us in our heritage. When you have a heritage from God, you leave behind a legacy that no man can disrupt as long as it comes from God. This day, some of you have done your ancestry. Some of you have searched deep. Why? And me in particular have done uh, my heritage on the, the, the actual uh, company called My Heritage. And you find some amazing things, saints. You find some documents uh, of marriages, births of family members that you have never met in your life. But because of the heritage, the records that have been left behind for you and I to review and to get excited about, it is there. Heritage. Heritage. Remembering your heritage. This is what it's about this morning. As everyone is celebrating Black History Month, and as I said, it's wonderful to celebrate the great inventions that have been uh, produced by many uh, who have passed and gone, the traffic light, uh, the microwave, the telephone in itself, all these things, uh, these individuals who, who came up with these inventions left a great heritage. But I want to point us this morning to the godly heritage. The godly heritage that produces righteousness. The godly heritage that cannot be disturbed or disrupted. That's where I want each and every one of us to focus on this morning. This heritage, once you enter into the family of God, the heritage that you look at, the forefathers uh, that ran before you, the ones that, that, that preached the gospel and lost their lives, the ones that, that the Bible is talking about that laid out principles for each one of us. And we hold on to this heritage and we reap the rewards from this great heritage. Heritage in God gives us an opportunity and gives us access that many do not have. We have access to our family trees. We have access to our ancestry, but we don't have access to this heritage in God if we do not submit and commit our lives to Him. So this morning as you're there, whether you're riding in a car, whether you're sitting on your couch in your front room, I want to gently remind you, remember your godly heritage. Remember your godly heritage. Because this heritage, when family members, someone needs to hear this this morning, have cast you aside, when family members have cut you off, and have said, I have nothing to do with him or her anymore. This godly heritage welcomes you in and says, listen, 
nobody can push you out. No weapon that is formed against you can prosper when you have this godly heritage, when you are a part of the family of God. So those of you who are listening and watching this morning, and you may be shaking in your boots because you've had some family circumstances where you feel disjointed from your family even now, I want to remind you that there is a place, oh praise the name of God, there is a place where you can find comfort, solace. There is a place where you can find strength and it is found only, only in the heritage of God. So as we close out this message today, we give God thanks for the heritage that's found in Him. May God bless you. May God continue to encourage you. Each and every one of us need to understand that the heritage that God gives is not like man's. Man will cut you off. Family will maybe just ostracize you for some reason because something happened and they can't remedy the situation. But this heritage, this family tree, my God in heaven, this ancestry, this genealogy, this place that God calls each one of us to is the best place you can ever be. Today, my encouragement to you and I, remember your godly heritage. God bless you today. Until next week, we give God thanks that we have this heritage that gives us righteousness. May God bless you. May God keep you. May his face always shine upon you. And this Sunday morning, may you understand it's not only Black History Month, but it is a time for you to remember your godly heritage. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Hello, I hope you enjoyed today's service. The message was on point and impactful. I enjoyed it myself. would like to give you the opportunity to support the ministry. For those of you out there that would love to support um, what we do and what God is doing in our lives. One of the ways to support the ministry is through our YouTube page by going to the About section and clicking on Tithes and Offering. Another way that you can support is by mailing a check to P.O. Box 41001 Ambele P.O. Pequain, Ontario L1V0G3 Or you can also support by sending an e-transfer to TTCOG Durham at gmail.com All this information will be on the screen. Thank you for worshipping with us. We hope to see you next week. God bless you. God bless you. This is Pastor Coleman coming back to you at this time. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have consistently, consistently um, been a support to our morning devotions. 6 a.m. every morning. It has been such a blessing. Um, you have been there as our dear Sister Coleman has shared the word every single morning. And I just want to encourage you to come again. Uh, invite somebody else to come again and be a part of our 6 a.m. morning devotion. It is Monday to Monday, Sunday to Sunday, if I, if I put it that way, uh, every morning at 6 a.m. I just wanted to remind you of it, that you would come on and be a part of it. Also want to bring to your attention uh, as well, our Tuesday and Thursday night um, prayer sessions. They have been so powerful. And I want to say again, thank you for each and every one of you who have uh, been such a support and a strength. Healing and deliverance has happened on the line and lives have been changed. Tuesday and Thursday nights, I want to encourage you to join us and invite someone as well. Come at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join us to hear the word and to be prayed for your special prayer request. And come and join us and be a part of this great, great move of God. Finally, I want to remind you as well to join us on Wednesday nights 
we have a program called Wednesday Wisdom. What an exciting program where we study the word together. Wednesday Wisdom. It's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. We want you to be a part of everything that God is allowing the triumphant church of God in Durham to do with excellence. We want to make sure that none of you are left out. So we want to once again remind you that these are the programs that are happening throughout our week and we endeavor to see you out. Join us as we serve God together, as we encourage one another together, as we lift the banner high and it's his banner. God bless you once again. This is Pastor Coleman on behalf of Sister Coleman and myself and the Triumphant Church of God in Durham, we want to say thank you. God bless you. Hi, and thank you for joining us today. We pray you are blessed by today's service and hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe for a notification for our future broadcasts. May God bless you until next week. Anything or anyone, so don't you forsake me. Jesus, I need you, I need you now. More than anything or anyone, life's threatening to take me. I know you see that I'm failing. Please help me, I'm fading, fading away from your love. Send your grace, I need another chance to try. Without your mercy and your love, I know I would die. Give me all who you are. Cause I'm open and waiting for your return. Hear my cry, oh Lord. And that sense in my breath. Are you listening? Can you hear me? Foot not to be moved, no slide. See some many soldiers far by the wayside. Me no wonder with them on me one life. See if it plays up there, some me won't hide. Me no want to see it, and me want guys. Your will be done. I know my joys, but them near your words. I know my voice. I beg you, hear my humble cry. Jesus, I need you. I need you now. More than anything or anyone. So don't you forsake. See that I'm failing. Please help me, I'm fading, fading away from your love. Send your grace, I need another chance to try. Without your mercy and your love, I know I would die. Give me all to your love. Cause I'm open and away. Sense in my breath. Are you listening? Can you hear me? Are you?